everybody, Stephanie Boulay here, Registered Dietitian for Coastline Elderly Services and I'm so excited because I have my family here with me today for the first time. This is my Madeline, she's seven years old and my mom Sue is with us here as well. Don't say my age. I won't. Don't worry mom. I never, I never tell a woman's Thank you. age. I was the only child. Okay. Um, and I'm excited because it's the holiday season and we have two decadent recipes that we're going to share with you. Yes, decadent yes. is the theme today, right, right. Madeline? Right. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. We're, go <laughs> we're going to be making reindeer munch and a whole wheat, whole wheat. eggnog French, French toast. toast. Right. So, Madeline's going to help us with both of these recipes. So, for the reindeer munch, I have some peanut butter here and also some butter. So, we're going to microwave him for about right. 20 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Two, zero, start. Now, this is a great recipe that you can make with your grandkids, with your kids, your nieces, your nephews. <laughs> They get so excited about cooking. I mean, what can you say? It's great to have them in the kitchen. And her favorite part of making this whole thing is that we put it all in this plastic bag here and we do a lot of shaking and kids love that. They love that. Very so, good. yeah, so it takes about 20 seconds in the microwave, depending on um, the wattage of your microwave. You may have to do it for a little bit longer. Can you stir that for me, baby? Careful. <laughs> Careful. Yep, you want to make sure that it's all mixed really well. Okay. Ooh, that looks good, Madeline. Yeah. Now, we used the natural peanut butter because in my family, that's what we like the best. But if you had any other kind of peanut butter, then that's fine too. Even chunky peanut butter. I wish my kids liked chunky peanut butter. I but like they, peanut yeah, butter. yeah. But they don't like the chunky peanut butter. So we did the smooth and the creamy peanut butter. All right, Maddie, that looks, that looks good. good. Now, we're gonna add all of our ingredients in the bag, and I love this because there's not much cleanup. Ah, oh, I love it. All right, ready? Good. Okay, so first thing, we're going to add some Chex Mix to this. <laughs> oh my gosh, kid, you're so cute. Okay, ready? There it goes. Nice. That was easy. Easy. We've got popcorn, ready? I should now, start calling you, you Vanna. Salted Wait. popcorn? What kind of popcorn? So is this different? one is a lightly salted popcorn. Um, and no if butter. you uh, no um, no butter to it, nope. Okay. Um, but yeah, I got it from the store. It was already popped. It had simple ingredients, and I thought, oh, wow. hey, I'm gonna make my life easier. That's Next, it. we are going to add some pretzels. <laughs> Maddie's Man. got it down. I'm gonna start calling you Vanna. Okay. All right, <laughs> and we've got some cashews here. Oh, your sister loves cashews. Any kind of nuts would go nice in here, but cashews is a win in my family, so that's what we use. <laughs> All right, now okay. we're gonna add this. All right, now we're gonna add our peanut butter and our butter. Now stay, stay still, oh as boy. still as you can, still as a statue. Wow. Here we go, we're gonna add this in here. That looks and great, again, her Maddie. favorite part is coming up where she gets to shake the bag. All right. Now, before we shake, yeah, always I'll good <laughs> to seal the bag first. <laughs> we didn't right? want to not seal that the bag. That's a great idea. Okay. Now, if don't go. Would, if you would not close the bag, your oh. kitchen would be a mess and right. probably yeah. take you the whole day to clean, to it, clean up. it right which we don't need any more messes so go ahead there you go. so you want to make sure that that peanut butter is nice and evenly coated all over everything because when we add our powdered sugar we want it to stick to it okay wow right look at that madeline good job it gets out the kids energy you know <laughs> they've been stuck in the house oh 
<laughs> if it's stuck in the house. Even if they dropped it, even it'd if be they all drop right. it, it's, it's still okay. fine. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yeah. It's See, going. It's still good. Still good. It's still good. You all can't right. mess it up. And it didn't explode. And it didn't explode. Yeah. Very all good. Right. So just a little bit more here, kiddo. Mm. And then parents, grandparents, we can take over for a minute. Again, you just want to make Very sure that everything nice. is evenly coated. So the original recipe called for about two cups of powdered sugar. I cut that down to about a cup and a half. You don't need too much. Um, and we're also going to be adding in some M&Ms as well. So it makes it a little festive. That's delicious. I know, so cute. And again, any of these items can be substituted as well. If you wanted to add some dried fruit, like raisins to it, it would be absolutely delicious. All right, now, monkey, can you hold that for me, please? Okay. Wow. All right, now we're gonna add it's our powdered. Peanut buttery. It's all peanut oh, it's oh, buttery. Oh, but I love peanut, peanut buttery. buttery. Peanut butter has what in it, Madeline, that makes it so good? Protein. Protein. And if your kids like it's this, my kid. you, my kid. you <laughs> should be very proud of them. Because it ha if they don't eat a lot of, like, healthy stuff, mm. this would be healthy for them. <laughs> Except the m and Except the m and and the powdered sugar. <laughs> Good job. But Mel. you know, Maddie, you're right. Like at least, you know, you're getting in some protein in there. You know, you're getting, you know, uh, different kinds of nuts and things like that. So you absolutely can make it, make it healthier. Wow. You good? That's, That's looking amazing. good, girly. Yeah, that Look looks good. That. And now we're just gonna add the M&Ms to it. And then it's done. Ooh. These M&Ms are Christmas M&Ms. Mm. They're nice. They're Very festive. Red and green. The Red two and most green. Favorite Christmas colors. Wow. Oh, wow. and do those have peanuts in them? Huh? Do those ones have peanuts in them? In the M&Ms, no, they're just no, chocolate. Oh, they're just chocolate. All right, so I Very think that good. we're all done here. Ooh. All right. All we need to do is pour it into a bowl. Pour it into a bowl. Or a glass container, a glass container as you can plainly see here. <laughs> yeah, so we that. thought it would be a great gift idea, right Maddie? Because yeah. uh -huh. it makes a lot of extra. Yeah. yeah. I thought it would be very wet, and but it's, no, it's actually it's quite not. dry. It's not. Madeline, why don't you try it as our taste <gasps> tester? Oh try our reindeer munch. It's really good. It's really good and so simple. And like I said, it makes a lot. So we thought, hey, you know wow. what? We'll put it in some containers and we can give it away as Christmas gifts. It's a win-win. Thank you Beautiful. so much, Chef Madeline, for helping me. Okay, Mom, now yes, we're going to be Mom. making whole wheat eggnog French toast. So eggnog take it away. French toast, yes. So French toast. I love making French toast. Mm, me too. I, I mean, we've made French toast for years and years, and um, but it w is a little bit different to add the eggnog. So uh, we thought, oh, you know what, that might yeah. be fun. Again, decadence is our theme today. Yes, and so French toast, and I was like, Steffi, what? Where did they even get the term French toast? Anybody know where they got the term French toast? Mm -hmm. And we ha did a little research here and found out that some guy named Joe French came up with <laughs> French toast. In 1724. Mystery revealed. Okay. It's but mystery solved. Could be, couldn't be, who knows. But we don't but what know we're what gonna country do, he came from. So I know, we don't know, Madeline. But we're going to try we're, to make it. Yeah, so why don't, you help, why don't you help <laughs> Grammy, okay? You come over here. You help Grammy. Actually, Madeline, what we need is four eggs, first off. You want to try cracking an egg? Now, Madeline's very good at cracking eggs. And, and we're using. So it gets nice and hot. Oh, thank you, my love. You're welcome. We are using um, organic eggs, and organic eggs tend to. Uh, that shell is actually a little bit harder. It's so, a nice, healthy egg. If it's yeah, got a nice, hard shell, it really shell, is it's a quite egg. hard. Mm -hmm. So I tend to uh, end up with shells. Oh, would you <laughs> like a fun fact about eggs? Oh. So, a fun yeah. fact about eggs which I learned on a show called Emily's Wonder Lab. Oh. The tips 
of the egg are very, very strong. Oh, very Thank good. Thank you so much. That's the fun fact. And there you have it. Okay, Madeline, That's you put yours easy. in there. Grammy's going to put one in here. Okay. Wow. And good job. I'm Look gonna at love that. it. Good job, Madeline. Excellent. Not even. So, can you put this into Grammy's here? We need four Ooh, eggs. One shell in there. Good job. Not even one. Excellent. Here, you want to try one more? You did that really well. Good job. Look at that. Ooh, that's fancy. Good job, Madeline. Thank you, honey. Look at that. Wonderful. You're like a professional egg cracker. I know. You know, when she's at my house, she likes to cook too. So yeah. we usually try and do some things in the kitchen. Right. You know. Well, I send you a lot of pictures anyway of whatever yeah. we're doing. Right. <laughs> but anyway, so here we have it. And we've got the um, the eggs. And basically, you're just going to do the same thing you would normally do with French mm -hmm. toast. Why don't you help Grammy and cut up some of the strawberries for the topping, Maddie? That would be amazing, my love. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I am part French, too, even though it means nothing to French so toast. Am I. But there you go. Irish and French, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's us. So we've mixed this up. All right. And now we're adding lactate. We're using this, Stephanie. Lactate. And yes. why are we using this particular lactate? Because my daughter and I are lactose intolerant. So, and we there love eggnog. So this is a great alternative if you have anybody who's lactose intolerant in your family. Um, yeah. it's, it tastes just like the real thing. So for us, it was such a win when we found it. So yum, yum. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot we, of people in the family have that. And our family does, So we yeah. just need a cup. Um, if you like more, I guess you could add more, but we're, for this recipe, four eggs, one cup of mm -hmm. the eggnog. Yeah. And we Which modified nice. the recipe a little bit because yeah. it had added sugar to it, mm -hmm. plus powdered sugar, and honestly, eggnog is so rich on its own, you it don't is. need added sugar. And then people tend to pour, you know, maple syrup, of course, on French toast, but because of the sweetness, <laughs> Of the eggnog, you really don't need it. So that's why we're going to be it. adding some fresh fruit to the top of it. And here's an odd little um, ingredient for this particular recipe. Um, it's, it's calling for rum extract. Nice. And which, you know, I guess if you wanted to, you could use the real stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that would be like. But good job, Madeline. Thank you, honey. And if you have a small knife, oh. You could um, use a small knife yes. to cut. If you see small strawberries, you could use it to cut that. <laughs> if you see bigger strawberries oh, than yeah. the first one, then you would need a bigger knife. Oh. Of course, which All right, so I have a humongous knife. Oh, so we won't use this one again, though. We'll put that mm -hmm. one in the sink. <laughs> so uh, basically, it's. You know, again, according to taste, if you like a little bit more, you can. But this is only a quarter of a teaspoon. To a half of a teaspoon. Mm. That's really going to add another depth of flavor to it, this. It really is. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also could use a little bit of nutmeg, too, if mm -hmm. you really want to spice it up a little bit. Yep. Uh, you can get those. They have these. Well, the one I have is a very small little grater, and I, and I will grate in real... Uh, nutmeg with that. Also another ingredient that I use uh, is cinnamon. You can't go wrong with cinnamon on French cinnamon toast. Classic. Is, it is. And you just, again, it's just to taste. So I like to dot it up a little bit in here with some cinnamon. You know, a All lot of right. us buy eggnog during the holidays mm -hmm. and sometimes we're like oh you know what what do i do with all this extra eggnog this is a perfect a way especially if you're having eggnog. family that's staying over for the holidays mm -hmm. this is going to be a real nice surprise for them yes and i made this last week did i say that already i, I made this last week mm -hmm. and uh no it was very very good Mm -hmm. Very, very delicious. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add this pan. I definitely is nice and hot. Nice. Going to add a little olive oil to our pan. OK. 
Okay. And I like, I don't, I mean, you have to watch it, but I don't like to burn my eggnog clearly, but uh, I mean, my eggnog, my French shows. <laughs> um, but I like a little bit of crisp on it, on the edges. So I might keep it like a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So you just dip it in. This recipe here with four eggs, you probably make about a dozen pieces. Okay. So we're only gonna make a couple yeah. of pieces here today. Right. But you just soak it. Sizzling. Dip it mm -hmm. in. I heard the sizzle. Mm -hmm. And I love the bread that we're using. You know, traditionally right? we use white bread when we make French toast, but you know, here on Cooking with Coastline, you mm -hmm. know, we try to just stall up recipes a little bit, you know, with things that are healthier for the body. So this particular bread that I found, it has three grams of fiber per serving. I got so excited when I saw that. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. And we're yeah. gonna add some fruit on there. So gonna, good. It, it's absolutely delicious. Super healthy. Super healthy, Apart right, Madeline? Add it, girl. Yes, having a dietitian for her daughter is uh, interesting because <laughs> I, was, I, oh my gosh, I found this whatever. Stephanie, look, I, I love this. You know, in the first thing, like she'll grab it. All right, mommy, hold on. And she looks at the ingredients. Sorry, and she mom, goes, this is awful. This is the worst. <laughs> oh, you're totally popping my bubble. What do you mean? You know, so. Yeah. It's all right, it's all right, you know. We all have our little faves that yeah. we're like, I know I shouldn't eat this, but it's pretty good. Right, it's <laughs> meant to be our, enjoyed, you know, know it's meant to it. be enjoyed. You know, even dietitians, you know, we love having, you know, treats and, you know, eggnog and other things like that, but it's just about, you Especially know, a balance. Kids. Especially kids, how are you kids, doing, Madeline? Yeah. You can put this fruit right into the bowl, my girl. Yeah. These knives are great. We found them online. They're kids' knives. And, yeah. you know, as a mom who's trying to teach her daughter how to cook, yeah. these are a great introductory set because they really can't get hurt from them. Um, they're sharp enough that they can chop some things, mm -hmm. but it's not sharp enough where they can hurt themselves. Okay. Very good. Good job. That's gonna be amazing, Madeline, on this French toast. And you can use any a lot kind of, of fruit. flavors going on. Right, and you can use any kind of fruit too. It doesn't have to be, you know, mixed berries like with what we're doing, you know? Oh, see, there's a little bit of brown coming. Mm -hmm. You might have to flip these a couple of times to get that little crunch that you want, or, yeah. you know, it all depends on how you like it, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. But, can you put it up a little bit? Looks good. And so just fun fact, if you want to, like for t example, today, we're not using all this batter and gosh, you sure would hate to throw it out. Mm -hmm. So if you put this in an airtight container, you can keep it in the fridge for two to four days. So yeah, yeah, I looked that up according to the USDA, yeah. you can keep it in the fridge for two to four days. Yeah, so that's Raw not, eggs. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we talked about that because I'm like, oh, I don't want to throw it out. What, right. what, what, what would I do? You know, right, right. So if you've got family coming and it's just something different, you know, have a little fun with some eggnog. Mm -hmm. Would you make this Christmas morning? Uh, you could make it Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah. Yeah. What's we one of your favorite things to make Christmas morning for well, breakfast? Well, we usually do <laughs> Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. Yeah, I, a lot of families do Is that. Is that though. right? Yeah, yeah we somebody, do that too. We yeah. Did. Cinnamon it's buns. Tradition. You gotta have traditions in the family, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so those are delicious, darn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> those are really good. Oops. Mom, I have a question. Do okay. Do we have a tradition before Christmas? Usually yeah. what <clears throat> we do, we do the cinnamon buns as well. Yeah. Oh, I so we did that as a kid. You know, we always oh, had wait, that um, every so, um, Christmas. That's what we did. So, um, do you think maybe we could have a tradition on Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve? Yeah. We could always open one present and you guys pick it. That's what we. That is you what we that do, now, <laughs> Madeline. That is our tradition that we do on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, so this is her. looking good. Yeah, All right, Madeline. Good. So I think you're just about done, sweetheart. I and already Grammy, finished. 
Yeah, awesome. you did. Good job. So, yeah, so I'm just going to put this yeah, on. Yeah, put it right on the plate. Yeah. Put this right on the plate, okay? Yeah. I and like these little snowflake plates now. So cute. Uh, Very festive. Delicious, healthy, very now you can, can you mix it, Maddie. You can mix definitely. This is very hot, Madeline. Mm -hmm. So here, Grammy's I'm gonna push this over here. I'm okay. okay. I just don't want it to get burned. Like, All right. Yes, Madeline. You mix kitchen. up the fruit. Mixing up this mm -hmm. healthy mm -hmm. fruit. Here, let's bring it over here. Come here, babe. Good. Watch for that. Now that's warm. Mm -hmm. So. Put it over Gotta love here. all that color. Oh, it looks really pretty. Mm. Good job. Is it time? To it put is it time. On our so scoop a little bit of fruit on there, my mm -hmm. love. Get here, how about if I go like this, and then you can just might be go. easier. Yeah. Couple of strawberries. We've got strawberries, blueberries. Is this blackberries? Mm -hmm. Why don't we put it around amazing. it? Like around it? So Even around it. Like I like it. Fruit, you could like put like some berries all around it. I love that idea, Maddie. Madeline, you have great ideas. I love it. So Good job, now really. what we're gonna do, now obviously like <laughs> we were talking, you don't really need to have a lot of butter and if you wanna have syrup, you know, we have syrup here as well, but you don't have to no. put the syrup on. Yeah. And you know, it's a fun little winter type uh, meal, so we gotta have the snow. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just yeah, gonna add snow, a little bit of snow. snow falling from the oh, sky. it's so snow pretty. From the sky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Powdered that sugar. looks amazing, right. you guys. Yeah. Wow. Good job. So that both looks of our great. It are was. Made, yes. Lovely. Grammy, would you try your stuff that you made? <laughs> Your berries and your uh, eggnog. Wow, Madeline, what if you tried it? Would you eat it? If Grammy let you try it, would you eat it? I would only eat the strawberries. <laughs> Seriously? I'd only eat the strawberries. I'd only eat the strawberries. No, that's a real kid reaction right yeah. there. I'll only eat Why the not strawberries. You do it, Grammy. Okay, we'll have Mummy try it. I, I have hey. no problems trying any kind of food. <laughs> How is that? It's so good. So good. Honestly, with that eggnog in there, mm -hmm. it gives it a really nice sweetness. sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting that rum extract in there. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And then you get that pop of sweetness from the fruit. Good job, Mom. Yay. Good job. Good job, Maddie. Yeah. Good job, girls. All right. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching this special holiday edition with Cooking Healthy with Coastline. Yes. And a big thank you to my mom and yes, Madeline welcome. for helping me out here yeah. today. <laughs> and we hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Yes, Merry Christmas to everyone. And um, the girl, so once you see the girls, you shall call the girls Girls Coastline Show. Three includes. Three includes. Group hug. Group hug. Group well, hug. if you end up trying this recipe, please comment below. We'd love to hear what you think about it and if your family loved it, which I'm sure that they will. And stay tuned for more episodes. And Happy subscribe. holidays. And subscribe. <laughs>